hello guys my name is Arsila and welcome back to my channel and today we are going to solve a new lead code question that is can make arithmetic progression from sequence so let's start the question the question says a sequence of number is called an arithmetic progression if the difference between any two consecutive element is the same given an array of numbers array arr Return true if an array can be arranged for, to form an arithmetic progression, otherwise they don't fall. So just before starting to solve this question, guys, to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, press the bell icon button, and bookmark the playlist so that you can get the updates from the channel. So simply we have to return an arithmetic progression. So if you guys do not know what arithmetic progression is, I am gonna tell you that what is what does it mean? It means that the difference between the consecutive numbers in the uh, array or anything in the sequence is same for example if you talk about uh, 1 3 uh, 1 3 and 5 if you take out the common difference between 1 and 3 it's 2 and the second consecutive is 3 and 5 so again it's 2 and then next it is 7 then 9 then 11 and so on so this is arithmetic sequence and if you talk about one two three four five six and so on it's again arithmetic progression and if you talk about one five then seven six or eight uh, seven then it's not an arithmetic progression so this is not an arithmetic progression these two are arithmetic progression because their differences are not same so if these differences between a consecutive error consecutive numbers in an array is same then we can say that it's an uh, arithmetic progression means that it's true for that and otherwise we have to return false so let's start solving this so first of all i will say ar dot so ar dot sort so that uh, we can get it in an ascending order because if we cannot if we will not get it in ascending order we cannot uh, means compare so first of all we have to compare these three into an ascending order then we can just simply uh, apply the logic uh, so i will create a d which will be my common difference between all the elements so to take out the common difference i just simply need to take out the difference between these two elements so for that i will write that arr0 arr1 minus arr0 okay arr0 okay so i to take out the common difference i just need to uh, simply minus this value minus this value it will give me two in first example so it will be two here two here one and here neither and it's not not a, a difference here so we will get a four here means a difference but it will not uh, uh, match with these two so i'm not uh, just considering that but you can consider it four will be difference you can write but uh, it does not apply anyways anyways so <clears throat> this is arr1 and arr minus zero will give us the common difference so i will write a loop here for i in range arr uh, len arr and i will say that if uh, if arr i arr i minus arr i minus 1 is not equal to d means if there are if these uh, if any value of i minus the ith value minus one meaning uh, let's take these two values so this is if this is i so the value i minus one would be this yep so if these two values are not equal to this so then return return what let let you make a guess and if you have made a correct guess that it would be false and then simply return return false for return uh, true for all these all the other values so if value is uh, if i is equals to 9 
means sorry arr i is equals to 9 then arr i minus is equals to 7 then if it's not equals to 0 uh, d means this common difference is um, is 2 then return false as we have to return true so let's run it and simply just run it and check for an answer so uh, 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 so oh yes uh, we have to start it from 2 uh, so that we can get now we can get an answer yep we got the answer so this was all in the question guys if you still have any doubt ask in the comment section and if you like the video please comment in the comment section that you have liked the video thank you guys for watching the video see you next time